So a good thing, big play. Frozen, one of the better snakes in the state of South Carolina. But uh, better than stat? I'm not making any claims, <laughs> but the man is very talented. One of the leaders of DBQ, the Wi-Fi crew. Very solid player. Neos, no need, no old guard. No, but just gonna say, no need to introduce him. Bro, I, I don't know. I feel like not everyone out of state knows Neos, though. You know? Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's always sort of hidden by status. Very because good. a lot of a lot of old guard Georgians don't travel too much. True, and when Neos does come out, you always have to be on alert. That comes really to play. Station 10 the he has some of the best practice. Oh, I got to play, though. Sounds like you got to play? I do. And we are still, so now we're a little bit solo. We're going to be bringing on Cargo. Cargo, how you doing? I am doing swell. Ugh. We were just talking Big Play and I. We got an out-of-state invader in Frozen, one of the better snakes in the state of South Carolina. Yep. Playing against the Georgia Old Guard of Neos. Yeah, Neos is definitely one of the uh, the OGs. You know, he's been around since probably Brawl into Smash 4. You know, consistently top 10 in Smash 4 on the PR, but he always was number 10. I mean, it was hard to, you know, get past that, but, I mean, he's going to show us what he's got yeah. right now. One thing I'm interested to see is how CJ's set play will translate for how he plays Snake against Neos. Yeah. He kind of plays a little bit different than Scat, and as we know, Scat's kind of transitioning to Sephiroth. Yep. So this could be a very interesting way to see how Neos adapts and moves CJ into those combos that he's really good at. True. And Neos also, like, for a long time with Scat's practice partner, because they lived like, they were literally neighbors. Yeah. So, I mean, having that instant Snake practice, Mega Man practice, you know, whatever, and, uh, right. I mean, the snake matchup experience is going to help out right now. Frozen, he's he's been on the rise. Like, he was an okay player before quarantine, but then, you know, grinding on Wi-Fi, as many people did, and now he's offline. I think this is, like, his first Georgia tournament, like, ever. So, yeah, and what, I'm, what I'm really excited to see is how the stage selection is going to be that will dramatically impact. Apparently, it's random. Um, <laughs> Yeah, is random. Hey guys, it's random. Yeah, is random. All right, they're about to play on a random stage. So we're, going, so we're going to Battlefield. Okay. And I'm expecting Snake Rosa. Yeah. He doesn't really dabble with too many other characters. Yep. Uh, I think he had like Peach early on, but you know, sticking with Rosa, the tried and true. You know, good character in this game. Very underutilized. You only really see the buzz at the top level using this character. And Neo, he's got tricks. Absolutely. So we're starting off, CJ will probably start with just throwing those grenades, trying to test the waters and getting Neo to come to him. You have to play at a certain range, though, because, you know, Rosa has that, uh, what is it, gravity pull. Yep. So if you throw a grenade at her, she can just, like, you know, pull it in, catch it, just throw it right back. Exactly. And that's a good thing. What CJ did right now, he got rid of Luma right away, but Neo's capitalized on him trying to get into the corner and started pushing him off stage just enough for Luma to come back right away. Yep. Oh, my God. This is a scary stage. You know, normally known as a good snake stage, but then you have Rosa and Luma, you know, carrying you off the top. Getting that, you know, top platform utilized, that's scary. Another, just like you said, those platform resets that Rosa can get, even with the assistance of the explosives, just adds another layer of complexity to Neos' play style. Yep. And, you know, he's practicing his matchup, so it's not gonna, it's not going to be a strange thing to him. Got the C4 set up, and now a lead trap situation. Yep. We'll see what happens here. Here we go. Defeat it down. Order up. Okay. the down smash. Shield. Oh, Z4 takes it out. Tricky. Just stuck on that platform. Neos is not aware of it. That's going to be the first talk to CJ Frozen. First talk to CJ Frozen. Which is good. Now CJ, I think it's a little risky for CJ to play in the corner like that. He's probably going to want to try and play near the corner, not directly in it. Yep. Okay. How do you get back? Oh, breaking the cipher. Just like that. Yep. This is exactly what he has wanted. Get him off stage, punish the cipher recovery, and make him squirm. Make him uncomfortable in this matchup. Exactly. Speaking of uncomfortable right now, Frozen is getting comboed. Getting out of that situation. Quickly trying to up to the ledge, trying to avoid the ledge Going for a greedy RPG. Oh, yeah. Two frame yeah. potential is there, so... That is a call out of saying, I know you're going to land right here. And if Neo's, got, if Neo's probably caught, all right, man. You know what? Snake must have been doing yoga because that leg went right through the platform, sent him to the next level. That's a snake leg right there. 
And that is going to put Frozen in a great position right now. Yep. Uh-oh. 45% back to credit. Always good. So that's the second time he's gone for that setup. But this time, instead of just shielding it, he has been able to jump through and survive. Yep. Here we go. Just dragging on to extra credit. Trying to go for a fair drag. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. If he spaced that a little bit better, maybe Neos didn't neutral get up. Uh, you know, if he did, yeah. that probably would have connected. So we got C4 on the top left platform right now. I think CJ's looking for a way to make sure Luma's out of the picture so he can secure that kill. Yep. Oh, there you go. Trying to let it loose, but yep. Neos all over it. Very aware player. I mean, he, you know, he's very seasoned in Smash. Ooh. Goodness Okay, gracious. now now we know. Neos has caught on to the habit. Yep. So we're either, I would say, stop looking for that RPG, maybe go for your more traditional mortar setup than waiting. But you're, you have a lot of extra credit. You have 110%, and you have that C4 on that left platform. There's a lot of room for CJ to take this game. Yeah, but Neos, he's no slouch. I mean, he can definitely make this comeback. He has so many you know, tricky movement options and just combos with Luma. Really interested to see, uh, unless Luma, you know, dies. You know, that, that's the big thing right now. Dash attack, definitely take care of that. Absolutely. Looks like he's trying to take care of Luma any way he can, but just Neos has so much control. Yeah. 82% already in the blink of an eye. Very tense. Forward tilt, might have killed. I'm not sure. Okay. That's Luma. And, and that's stock your tilt. stock. Okay. Rose. Okay. So what? So, sorry, so you're CJ. You come in out of town. You take a game off the old guard pretty close, and you yep. did a good job controlling Luma and the stage. If you're in his shoes, who, where are you taking or trying to prevent Neos from going? I don't know, man. I feel like FD is just not a good stage because there's just not many places you can really trick him. You know, he had a C4 on the, on the platforms a couple of times. Very difficult to keep track of. But, you know, FD stages, I mean, Kyle's isn't legal, but maybe like a Northern Cave S stage, you really don't want that. One thing um, that I did think about was... What about Town and City? Open up the stage for yourself. There are the platforms that Neos can't take advantage of. Yeah. But you can lay traps with your Nikita, your C4 on those platforms and kind of deter him from going there so he has to play a more grounded game against you. That's true. And, you know, having the higher blast zones are also good against Rosalina and Luma because they do love Kelly off the top. Absolutely. But it's not, you know, on that stage, anything can happen off the side. So you have to be careful. Um... One thing to note, though, is that I forgot Frozen also comes to South Carolina. They have a really good Rosalina and Luma there, and Eldon. That's right. They have Eldon in South Carolina. So he's, you know, pretty knowledgeable in that. And depending how he does in this matchup, if he has to play Valiant Seed tonight, I don't know the exact bracket path, but he has Bayo experience from Luna Dashi in yep. South Carolina as well. Exactly. I mean, he's, he's covered his tracks pretty well. So right we'll now, see. already got rid of Luma, and CJ's just playing a much more grounded and offensive game than he was last time. Yep. I guess CJ must have heard me when I was talking to it because he took me to town to city. <laughs> but well, that's a good idea, Doug. You know, I think I'm going to take your word for it. And, oh, my <laughs> God. And right there, yeah. See, you know, on or certain stages, I might have killed. So, Absolutely. Definitely fortunate. The counterpick working against Neos in some aspects. Oh, run up up tilt. But it always feels like when you're playing Rosa, you're playing against an hourglass of sand. When, when Luma dies, you flip the hourglass and you have that time window to burst Rosa down. Yep. It's kind of like a boss fight in an RPG. Pretty much. But it, it's still difficult to pin down Rosa. I mean, she is so floaty, you know, can really take her time landing. Can make it difficult. And, you know, Snake can catch landing pretty well, but not as good as other characters. And now it's stuck in a lead trap situation against Rosalina and Luma. This is scary, but having the platform to really bail him out. He still needs to find land, though, because this Luma is very Great annoying. Great of Luma to cover the platform, so CJ had to come down right to F Neos and got him with the up smash. Went for a burst option and just, you know, getting called out. Uh, you know, Neos understanding what that dash track is capable of. You know, Cross-ups, very deadly, but not to Neos. So that great backer from CJ, try and reclaim that stage. Yep. He already oh. know that. Ooh. Tricky, tricky. He, you know, he, he rode that thing back around. Oh, that was a... You turn around, do a loop-de-loop, -loop, and there you go. Yep. So Catch now we got Luma trying to poke CJ a little bit, coming down with that down air. Good. Wow, very aggressive. Wow. He is just going for moves. He is just hitting Neos, daring you to shield, daring you to air dodge. CJ's, it, it, it looks like a different person is playing this game right now. CJ last game was much more reserved. I think he was trying to gather data on Neos. Now he has a plan, and it's I'm going to run you down and make you react to my hitboxes. Yes, sir. Oh, getting the super weak hit of that up air. Still not killing with a strong hit of Rose's up air. Luma would definitely close it out. Oh, that could be bad. What a mix. Frozen is still hanging on. Oh, my God. Oh, 
but not for long. Not, not, not enough, unfortunately, but Snake's a big boy. Loom is gone. Rose is at a kill percent, so maybe yep. we can get something going off of that. Oh! Wait a second. There it is. There's oh. the C4. Looked away for a second, and Frozen finding a C4 kill on Neos. And, you know, a possible offset situation. I think Frozen is seated way lower than Neos in this in this bracket. I, I believe so. Frozen, I don't think he was seated too highly. Yeah. But three, as we know, you can't account for all these out-of-state players all the time. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, God. Frozen going for gold and just not finding it high in the air. Neos trying to chase, but falls right into the C4. Here comes grenade set up just in case he tries to get the center stage. Lands with the C4. Oh, oh my God. Watch your landing. 89% up till will kill because I mean I feel like I feel like Rosa is just so light. Here we go. I'll save the situation. CJ recovering high. There's the there's the C4. There's the center of the stage. Boom is on it. They didn't detonate it. I mean he was sitting right on it, like daring him to do it, but yep. okay. Okay, Dash Jack sending him off. Watch out for Luma. Yep. And the lead strapping actually getting a little bit interrupted by that Town City platform, so Neo's having a little bit of that data. Yeah, and Neo, like we said, Neo's abusing those platforms, making sure he's safe, and now he's going to sit out of that wall. Luma's due to come back in a couple seconds. Yeah, probably going to set him up. Oh, the C4! It blew up. It was a timer. Oh, no. Talking about the timer on Luma, you got to watch the timer on that C4. It's going to turn its back on you and frozen on the tail end of that 1-1 one, one situation. And that C4 does not discriminate against anybody. No, Doesn't sir. Friend of, there is no friend or foe. Friendly fire is always on. Exactly. Snake on the Just like real life. Finally, oh, yeah. you know, the mortars aren't hitting snakes. The grenades are doing less damage. At least the C4 is realistic. Yep. And now, if you're frozen, you know, really stressful last hit situation right there. Let's see how you retaliate in this game three. And let's see the composure that Neos has because that was slipping away from him. Looking at frozen, he was laughing, kind of clapping and laughing it off. Take him to FD, remove those platforms, give it a level playing field. I am a little bit afraid of what Lula can do on this stage when yeah. you separate and kind of create a ping pong situation in between the two. Yeah, because we saw it with that forward smash. Yep. Because that is, there's a, eventually he's going to jump in the grass. I know it's a war of attrition, but CJ has to find something. Yep. He looks pumped up. Game three. We'd love to see this situation. FD is a choice for him. Oh, very aggressive down air. Do it again. Okay. You have to be tricky on your landings on this stage because there's no platform to bail you out. Ooh, God almost, damn. almost, almost. Frozen, he's out for blood. He's like, that game should have been mine, but... He's really going for these RPG finishes. Either he thinks I can close this out right now and I'm calling you out for a bad decision, yep. or it's a habit, possibly, that he might have carried over from Elden. Oh my goodness. This is not Elden right now. Oh my goodness, getting dunked right there. Having a good start, but Neo's having a better finish right there on that first stock. Up to, oh my goodness, sending him to the skies. Not enough. And the crazy thing is, he's still looking to get a third. Yep. He had no intention of changing his game plan whatsoever. Here we go. So that it all the way up. And that's smart because you know it's just going to get you know brought in with the gravity, gravity pull, and it's going to be nullified. So. I mean, is there a way to punish her with when she does have that gravity pull? Think about it. Maybe you could dash attack through her or something. Maybe. I mean. If she's off stage, though, that's normally when you're going to be uh, seeing Nikita pulled out. Yep. It's a pretty unsafe move on, on stage, especially offline. Now, I know CJ loves to do that on, uh, online, okay. but it's not online. 2-2 two, two situation. Online stock is count. over. Yep. Neo, so, Neos has been putting out great pressure this whole time, but he's been doing it mainly with Rosa from what I've seen. Luma has been a factor, but everything has been about... Look, Rosa starts it, Luma executes and extends the pressure for him. Woo. And almost got uh, Ali Uth right there into Neos' loving arms, but hanging on 106. Okay, so now we got, now we got the floor set up. Set, setting it up backwards. Trying to bait him into a neutral getup, but not finding it. 122 right now. Oh, God. Awkward situation. Here we go. So CJ setting up the... Whoa! Was that the RPG? It might have been. Uh oh, the C4. Okay. Almost finding a stock. And now this yeah. is up tilt range. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, here comes the up tilt brigade. And how is okay? Okay, so CJ is now just using that grenade as a defensive option to help keep Rosa off him. He knows that Neos wants to go for that grab. <laughs> Here we go, sending Luma out. The jabs are very scary because you know in the corner it can definitely close out the stock. Barely hanging on there. Covering, oh, covering oh, CJ oh. with down smash was a great move. There's the up to, up air taking CJ out right away. Last stock, CJ frozen. How will he adapt? We'll see. Off stage right now. Don't want to get caught. You know, out of your 
uh, out of your cipher. That thing breaks, you're done. Absolutely. And right now, I think the one thing that he has been doing. Oh, wow! Finding those backers. Those slow backers because it's a very slow move, so you really don't expect it. But he just slipped it in at the very last second. Absolutely. Not ready for it. Uh oh. Getting scooped up. This could be. This could be very bad. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, Nowhere to no. go. Nowhere to go. Neo's defending the state of Georgia. Yep. Holding it, holding his own there. Two one for good, Neo. Two one Neo's. A very good effort by CJ. Though. Oh yeah, oh, for sure. I think if he did taper back his aggression that he that he showed through game two, yep. he had a much more a much better chance to have stock retention throughout his entire set on town and city because it looked like. A little bit of composure. Yeah. And, uh, and the, because you are playing against.